Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered.
sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? I came in through the door, of course. The cryptographic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. Rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the second gate M stroke one four seven two three stroke B. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross referenced likely numeric combinations against the stored personal data on you. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken and that you left it open. I 
I know a lot of things. Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. I would suggest investing in an Insect Model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the integrated voice commands isn't worth the convenience. The 1355 also has 300 five-star reviews on Congo. Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your record and entertainment media using Bisac. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've, uh, run into a bit of a snag. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. The beginning. Okay, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him, either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human-seeming, when you talk to them just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. I don't know. I'm not 
certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me, and the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. his assailants breaking the lock. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Hm, of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues.
Ethan spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. under those reference books. Ah, that device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm, if only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Really? I guess we'll have to go ask. <coughs> Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. This is an exciting thing, I promise! <sighs> this is just how things are done. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system. That seems less efficient than just running the setup program. So, here we go! Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's Live Intelligence Processing System. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? to keep this name. Thank you. I have input your name. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Diet set as omnivorous, are you sure? Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. 
in review. Does that sound right? Thank you. See, that was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Oh, all right. When you are ready to leave, just use your map. That's Hayden's computer. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I lack that ability. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. This window here is where I escaped from. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. Critical system damage would be unlikely, but I would certainly have damaged my legs beyond repair, so... I took the fire escape! Ovada isn't doing very well. Have you 
been overwatering it. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Okay. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden has scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside. And some answers. they're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. Hold up there. Got ID? Welcome to Stardust. All right. Looks good to me. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? It does seem to be a bit boisterous for your taste, at least from what I know of them. Still, the noise and the crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Sure, but first, let's get you a drink. <laughs> What'll it be? So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in there? Dictionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Does that sound good? Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Now, what is it you need to know? I'm pretty 
Pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Oh, ha <laughs> ha I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. So, what do you want to know? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Truth be told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. I wanted something regular, peaceful. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. <laughs> After two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. We got some regulars around, they started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck! Enjoy yourself, and don't be a stranger. again.
Yes, can I help you? Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. Oh really? Why pray tell? Nice save. Look, asshole, I'll explain this once. You wanna talk about the hybrid thing? Cool, no one's trying to hide it. And you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. But jokes? Puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. We clear? Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, alright, whatever. Just get moving. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. Yours, Charlie Doll. Although, voila. I lack the attention. It'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I'd do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden's this? Well, that's one way to sour my night. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Do you know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but... Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow, oof, that might have changed things. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> uh, 
I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but he would just get fired, maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Ooh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. That's just a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Within range. And they share all files the user has tagged as private. It's handy in dense population areas like NeoSF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pipes. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, I'm not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. Yeah, I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. Good luck! Turin, you, you keep out of trouble. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Oh, brat, I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Well, 
Setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. <laughs> 